Today I'm going to show you how to make colored lips. Color and polycarbonate with right dye. Let's get started. There is a couple reasons why I do. I've been started doing this. It's polycarbonate for uh, crankbaits and stuff. There's the green, the red, blue, and kind of a orange tangerine. And then the yellow, and they're quite honest, the yellow does, well, sucks. I mean, you can see it, I mean, it looks fine. But you can also do these, which this is a G10 fiber, G10 fiber board. It's not the, it's not plat, I mean, it's not the polycarbonate. That's the polycarbonate, yellow. Kind of hard to see on the camera, but it is yellow. It don't do near as good as the other one. That's it. Right there's the blue one. And I do that because some of my crankbaits, like my, ouch, shit, hard, sharp. Like the simple crawls, I'll add red bills to. I like this color, it has a tangerine in it. It kind of matches the body, kind of matches this tone here. And that's the reason I do it. So I'm gonna show you how to, what the process is and how to get it done. Okay, what I got got here is a just a little cheap uh, single burner electric. I got like that come from Walmart, I think. This little stainless steel pan comes from like dollar store anywhere. Comes with a little lid and some water. Today we're gonna dye with the uh, right dye more synthetic, and for the polycarbonate and your G10s, it has to be synthetic. It can't be multi-purpose or it won't work. And we're going to do graphite today just to show you. Because I hadn't done this yet, so this will be uh, interesting for me too. And it don't hurt to shake it up because the stuff, the dyes will go to the bottom. So uh, I need something to cut it open to. This is the worst part. It's like watching eggs try to get them to boil. The longer you watch, the longer it takes. So <laughs> that's the only, only only crappy part about it. Okay, it's starting to boil now. I'm gonna add these. Some of the ones I've cut out from that jig I made. I got a video of hit too on here. I don't know if you can even see that, it's pretty clear. I'm going to dye them too. And I need my heat gun. Get my heat gun here. I'll figure out how to open it. And it works. Now we're going to that's the wrong temperature. I'm at a 156. Our ideal is going to be uh, around 200. Boil it, not super hot, but we need it boiling. Plus, if it's too too much in here, it will tend to boil out, and you don't want that. So while this is warming up, I got my stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and just. Let them sit in there. And it's uh, 
15 after 11 and what I want to do is just watch this temperature for the next few minutes 164 about 188 and you should be able to start hearing the noise and you know, something I haven't tried and I don't I don't think I'll do it <laughs> but not indoors I might try it on the next video I might just throw it outside as doing a plastic one I'm afraid that would heat up and just so we're going to we're going to do that. We're going to do that on another video, but it's going to be outside, and we'll be about 15 foot away from it. But we'll give it a try, see what happens. <clears throat> we are at right at 200. Whoops. You can see that well it goes down pretty quick when uh okay 203 and they've been in there a couple minutes and what i like to do is since it's been a real dark color we'll need to check it from time to time like same thing if you do the reds or the, the blues or greens they will turn quicker than you think and the, usually the darker colors will do pretty good. And actually, that's it. That's been in there a total of five minutes. And I'm going to say that's, that's a good color. Let me turn it and plug this. Oh, burn my cord. All right, let's, let's take it to the table. Well, that wasn't too bad. It didn't take about five or six minutes to do that. I was really surprised. That's kind of a, almost like your fishing glasses, your, the ones you use for fishing. I can't remember what, what color it is. I mean, it don't look like graphite. Now we're gonna do, there's another one of polycarbonate ones. Pretty good. And what I'm doing, but you cannot see what I'm doing. Let's get it back a little bit. Sorry if I'm wiggling around. What I'm doing is getting stretched out where I can dry them. Check that out. That is the G10 fiberboard. It looks completely black, but I don't know if you can tell. It is translucent as far as... Uh, I can see my finger through it on the other side. That's pretty cool. We'll let these set these out. I like to pat dry them. You're supposed, I mean, they, someone said that he recommends you to dry them out as soon as you get them out, as quick as you can. I don't know if it really, really matters or not, but. If someone says do it, you might as well do it. Can't hurt. Sorry, shaking the table. Where's I need that? these dry out remember if you do this it's got to be 
synthetic otherwise it will not work at all And them turned out a lot better. I thought it was going to be just as black as they could be, and but them actually turned out. The, uh, the, G, the G10 is definitely darker than the polycarbonate. I mean, there's a big difference in between these. Even though that's translucent, I mean, you can see it's translucent. We're going in front of the other one. This one just looks black as hell, but can't see it through here but I can see it on my finger barely but it's there but that'll be some interesting builds for different crankbaits and stuff like that because I, I like the building the black baits solid black and why not have a bill and actually these will look good on some crawl patterns too all right let's should wrap this up on that well, I hope you liked the video as far as the dyeing the polycarbonate and, and G10 uh, fiberboard. It's a pretty interesting project product. You can get reds, blues, greens, purples, I think lavender. There's a whole bunch of different colors. But beware of the, the yellow, which is daffodil. Uh, it's not that good. I mean, it'll work, but... It takes a long, long, long time as far as boiling. These being the darker colors, especially this one, the graphite, it only, I mean, it, honestly, it take 10 minutes tops. And only had to dip it one time to check it and it was good. So, maybe y'all build something like that on your next build. See y'all later.